Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Toyin. Welcome to the family. It's all good vibes over here. We are back with Growing Together. This is episode 15. I hope I'm right. It, it'll be in the title, okay? On the last episode, Emmanuel went to prom. Finally, our baby is all grown up and he's so close to graduating. But sadly, he had to break up with Savannah. It just wasn't working. It wasn't giving. It just, ugh, it was just awkward and tense. I really don't know why she asked Emmanuel out, but she was just giving so much bad vibes, attitude, all of that. And Emmanuel couldn't do it anymore. But yeah, apart from that, we had a great time. So now we are back with the new episode. I just thought I'd bless your screen with a little bit of, you know, princess goodness. But um, today we got invited to the Michaelson's house. They're actually having a barbecue slash a pool party. I've actually been thinking for a few episodes to throw a pool party for the Phillips family. But of course, there's no space for a pool. And I keep forgetting they have this freaking sprinkler. So they could have been playing with it, but it's whatever i think you know by now we know that i just put stuff in the house and forget to use them but first of all christy has actually not been feeling too well okay Ade went for a jog so i'm just gonna have him go home and i'm so freaking tired of Ade being flirty because christy's having a hard time with this particular pregnancy yeah i think she should go and sleep i don't know why she was cleaning up and um, it says she's happy but she's not been feeling too good why does that keep disappearing uh, what on earth is do you guys see what's happening lord have mercy every day i come into this game and there's a new problem even though i don't change anything i don't put any new mods there's still a problem like make it make sense please as i was saying chris has not been feeling too good i really tried to research and look for a vasectomy mod but there isn't any so i think i'm just gonna have to really pay attention to them taking their birth controls and using protection whenever they do whatever they want to be doing you know what after ade and christy went on that couple's retreat and they went and worked on their relationship ade has just been always flirty like since then and i'm tired of it like we literally don't have space i don't think they have enough savings to move house they have a big family there's nowhere for the new baby to go to I think the baby will just have to take the walk-in closet. That's what I was planning to do. Come on, we've had enough kids already. But anyways, we're going to have um, Christy go to bed. Emmanuel is actually going to work soon. Emmanuel is just always working out. But then again, like he just had a breakup. Anybody got time to be sad? Go away. Uh. Dang. Uh. Spamming me again. Like, what is that? I've never seen that happen. All right, Emmanuel, you've got work yeah emmanuel's this year he's about to go to work so i know i've been telling you in the last few episodes that emmanuel works but like now you can see him because hey, hey, hey this baby is so loud he works 7 to 12 on the weekends um that is doing good i'm gonna have him call a nanny i'm gonna have ade come and put the baby in her crib and yeah let's have christy just rest let her rest mommy needs it okay she's overworked she's just popping out these kids left and right like it's getting too much and we can't forget our little duchess she's so adorable can you pick up the child i hate when the socks does this like that's so nasty looking okay it's good to see a day you know taking care of the kids as he should because they belong to both of you what does she want to do she wants to eat cookies okay mama you can have anything you want look at her there you go a day okay Oh, bless you, honey. Tell her a bedtime story. Let her sleep, please. Because she was just screaming up a storm for a second. Now she's hungry? Bruh. You know what? We're just going to leave her. Um, Is the maid here? Okay, you can come in. Let yourself in. Emmanuel's almost done with a stunning landscaping project when he realizes that he is two platoonists short. The project is already a week behind schedule. He can try running back to the nursery to get more or work with what he's got. I mean, go back to the nursery. Why wouldn't we? So it says Emmanuel squeezes through the nursery gate just as the owner is locking up. Grabbing the last few petunias, he slaps down a few simoleons and heads back to finish the job. The result, a perfect platoon path. Perfectly on time, Emmanuel's boss and the client are perfectly pleased. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay, let's not do half jobs. And I know we spent 20 similars out of our money, but it will be worth it. He's still feeling kind of salty about the breakup, but he gets over it in two hours, which is quite quick. Why are you dazed? Are you drunk? Nanny, I will not be paying you if you don't do anything. That is actually pretty good on mood. All right, I guess I'll do what the nanny can't do, maybe. I'm going to take this to the hamper and have Ade do some laundry. It's so nice to have Ade actually working. Not just Christy. Oh, Christy's awake now. 
Christy, are you good? She's so uncomfortable. Oh, baby. She has to pee. She needs to eat. But she's going to grab a cookie anyway. You need to take care of this as well. Polish to perfection. Like, why is it green and steaming? Uh, all right. I did come and change into... I mean, if it's going to be a barbecue slash pool party, I feel like he should be comfortable. Not wearing like a sweater or a jumper. Okay, Ade, you look good. Oh, look at him smirking at himself in the mirror. You're so vain. <laughs> Christy, what's wrong? Why is Christy constantly uncomfortable? Like, baby girl. She's naked. Oh, the nanny is actually like doing other things as well. I don't know why that surprises me every time. I feel like I'm so forgetful. Christy, what's up with you? okay go and eat like you don't need to yell at me dang girl all right whilst christy goes and eat um we'll do this also i've been wanting i don't i think i'm gonna take this away because i don't like that this child is always sitting here who gave this child a cookie now he's gonna be having a sugar high or sugar rush or whatever we want to call it use diaper we really need to have this boy trained like potty trained nanny could you do that is there any way i can tell her to potty train ask for potty help yeah, ask her. It just disappeared. Okay, let's try that again. All right, cool, great. And I want to have a day. Good, a day. You look so sexy when you do house chores. I love it. I love you, daddy. Maid, where's your uniform? And why are you so mad, girl? She's always mad when she comes over. <laughs> Maybe that's a requirement for the job. I don't know. Um, we're gonna have a day come and take away the curfew just because it might not have been doing so well so why not christopher we're coming to your house today i guess he's coming to check up on us if we're still coming or something i did come and say hi to christopher invite christopher in and um let's check on christy she needs amusement she's going back to bed i don't know if christy will be able to go with us to this party who am i hearing is the baby up oh bless you honey she's so adorable but she's hungry though so where's this nanny hey christy we'd love to have you join the avant guard what do you think no thanks i'm good yeah. thanks though wait is that the gardening club maybe i should have joined thank you let me see what club that was i might actually think about it what do they do enjoy debating no that's not for christy if it was the garden gnomes that would be a different story um oh victor has reached potty level three we love to see that we love to see that yeah today is victor's day because he is leveling up in everything all right christy i hope you feel better with this sleep that you're getting i think emmanuel's back so yeah we are pretty much good to go to the michaelson's house for their barbecue party hey buds i've been added to christy's inventory really we're like 15 episodes in <laughs> The kids love this woman so much. I love that for her. Oh, rubbish. <laughs> How adorable is this? She's like, easy, baby, easy. Okay, do not rush it. Are you in heat? Like, I've already gotten her neutered. She's probably like bored or something. Emmanuel. Okay, let's not lecture her right now because she actually wants, she needs some love. So pet her, please. I know you need the toilet, baby. I'm sorry. Christy is still uncomfortable. Um, eating for two. Growing so fast. From toddler school again to level three or five. They grow up so quickly. Every time they learn and grow, it's a moment to reflect. Oh, she's such a proud mama. See, even when you want her to rest, she will go and be taking care of her kids. Like, what do you mean practice standing? Take care of yourself, girl. You're baking a baby in your belly right now. Let's just have her have a quick shower and then we need to leave the house. Like, it's already one and, you know, Christopher already came to remind us about the party. So we're just going to have Christy take a very quick shower. I'll just have um, Princess do tummy time alone then. And Victor's sleeping right now. I guess the nanny is just really here to chill is that who's that upstairs in my house like ah! did this man just walk in here and then act surprised to see our wife naked you are a freaking creep oh no i don't even want to go to your party are you gonna leave or are you just gonna freaking stand there let's have christy be rude to him like that's how the last time he was in our baby's room um arguments 
Yeah, yell at him. Get the frick out of my house, bro. Like, I'm literally telling my husband, how are you going to come in here? Don't just talk to me casually after that. We're not friends. We're not buddies. There was always something creepy about you. Like, I really tried to... Nah, that's crazy. That is crazy. Let's be mean. Like, swear at him. Cuss at him. Be like, what the frick do you think you're doing? Uh, like, you're going to walk into the bathroom, not even knock, and then stare at me while I'm showering, act surprised, and not leave. Like, who does that? You creep. I'm literally friends with your wife, you're nasty. Ah, you're shouting back at me? Nah, Ade, Ade, Ade. Let's go talk to Ade. Don't give him freaking advice. Tell him to leave your house. Yeah, send him home. Just tell him to get the frick out of my house. I don't like you. I don't even know if she should tell Ade. Get out. I should really get going. Yeah, get the frick out of my house. You bastard. <laughs> so freaking creepy let's have christy come and change her outfit we're not gonna tell celeste because like we're not a home wrecker we tell them and then they break up and now that's christy's fault but maybe after the party we'll tell ade about it because if we tell ade now he's already a jealous person like he will freak the f out but let's take a selfie i'm really trying to cheer her up what's what exactly is what's going on what is this how did this make sense Bro, all right. <laughs> like Christy's just not in the mood today. Photography is terrible. Christy does not seem to be having a good time. Should she gain the dislikes photography preference? No. Just because of one little glitch? No. See, she's embarrassed now. Privacy invaded. Seems though like having someone walk in on them. Exactly. No one likes that. I freaking creep. I'm gonna have Christy spray herself down as well. Just really trying to, you know, help her feel good as much as possible, you know. Apply lotion. I'm gonna have a spray feminine perfume. Okay, I'm gonna put this in her inventory because for some reason she can't reach it there. Okay, now it's gonna work. Yes, mama. You deserve to feel and smell good. Feeling insecure, oh boy. If your significant other isn't around, how can you know what they're doing and who they're doing it with? Yeah, baby, you see, this this is why we can't tell Ade about that creep staring at um Christy. Um, Emmanuel will come and change his outfit. All right, Emmanuel. Hey, doing good from rebel tray i really don't need a pat on the back about crap like this but whatevs it's nice to hear people boast about me anyway just don't pretend you're my friend narc okay bad boy <laughs> three hours later but anyways um now that we're good to go is the nanny still here what's going on oh it's a milestone oh, my baby talks now she is growing rapidly what did i tell you she's such a smart little girl all right we need to leave this house like right now right now right now all right honey mommy loves you daddy loves you and big brother loves you okay oh this is the first time that the three of them travel alone together but yeah we need the grown-ups including the teenager to have some fun and just you know get away from the babies <laughs> so we've made it to the michaelson's household and it says princess and victor have been sent to daycare hopefully not because why would i be paying the nanny but let's come and knock on the door wait why can't we knock on the door that's my question right now okay so i basically made them go back home and come back here finally it's showing so if any of you have that problem now you know what the fix is we just literally went back home and traveled back here and it sorted itself out as i was hoping it would so um let's have christy go and knock i just feel like i don't take advantage of this enough it's because of the lashes that i don't come into this mode yay the house is open okay let's take a little tour okay so this is their bathroom cute very simplistic so this is their kitchen this is very celeste she loves her pinks for sure their kitchen is so cute but it's nice that you can see a bit of christopher in here as well because this is his color the you know i love that color so much like the olive almost like a pastely green like the new tones i love that oh their living room is very nice this is their little girl She's so cute, Orion, I believe. Yep, there we go. Look at me remembering names. And this is Orion's room. She has this in common with Emmanuel, which is like space and aliens. Like, as you can see, she loves her spaceships and, you know, she loves everything to do with like astrology and stuff. This is um, Atlas's room. Very nice. I like it. 
obviously i gave it a makeover <laughs> I can't even pretend to like be surprised. I didn't give the parents room a makeover because baby, the longer I take to prep the episode, the longer it's going to take for the episode to come out. But anyways, yeah. And, um, Celeste did ask Christy's help to like, you know, start some gardening and stuff because she's not really sure how to go about it. So we're going to help with that. And this is obviously Orion's, um, telescope, you know, I feel like her and Emmanuel can really get along because they have like that interest in common. And I gave them a pull here. Ooh, Celeste is looking good. I gave Celeste a makeover. Did she fall? Why does she look like this? She looks like she literally just broke her back. Oh, okay. I guess she was working it out. Okay, Celeste, I see you. All right, so I'm going to have um, Christy come and say hi to Celeste. Come and hug Celeste. Okay. You know what? Celeste and Michael, they're just very weird. Because even Celeste, if you remember a few episodes before, like Christy literally almost got in a fight with this girl. Because it seemed like she was interested in Ade. I don't know if they're swingers, but we don't roll like that. But right now, we're just going to be peaceful. Okay, come and give her a kiss on the cheek. Whatever. And I guess everyone else will join us very soon. Look at him mad. You're ugly. Eh? He was always weird to me, but I was just trying to be nice. What's she complaining about now? Listen to Celeste's complaints. Are you complaining about your man? Yeah, he is weird. Alright, um... Why are you waving your hand? What did you want to do? Anyways, whatever. Let's, um... Let's turn on the music. Let's just get the party started. Okay, let's stay away from hip-hop today. Not because there's anything wrong with it, but because I always play hip-hop. Let's play Latin pop. Let's see how that goes for us. And man, I was such a teenager. Like, you're at a party. Why would you go to the bedroom to go and watch TV? No, Atlas's room is nice because why do you have a whole TV? Oh, speaking of, in the last episode, I mentioned that Emmanuel's parents were going to give him a TV for, you know, being such a good student. So I think Emmanuel heard me, by the way, because he just left the room. So when we get home, I'm going to try and remember to give him his TV. Uh -huh. Have you said hi to um, Atlas? Okay, he wants to go and dance. Where's Atlas? Atlas, where are you? I mean, do you want to come and dance downstairs instead of in your room? Anyways, come and say hi to Atlas. Oh, let's call him over. Yeah, let's do that instead. So, and the boy. Okay, the party is started. Ooh, everybody is here. Um, do you have a different outfit that you can wear, baby? Amy. <laughs> you wear this every day. Okay, honey. Like, I gave you multiple outfits. Does she have more than... Yeah, she has another one she can wear. Um, oh, Christy's in the pool. Oh, goodness. Look at the glitch. I started already. Let's see what it looks like from first person. <laughs> first person just doesn't work if you have CCs on and in certain situations. This is the guy. Remember last time I said he was trying to flirt with Christy. I mean, he wasn't trying to. He was literally flirting with Christy. Jen, oh, 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 oh. Okay, they don't get too close to Celeste because she let it be known that she found you attractive. And I just don't like that. I want to have someone do the barbecue, but like, I feel like I always go to Christy for stuff like that. But it's because she's the only one that knows how to cook. I kind of want Ade to do it, but I'm scared. I do not want this man to ruin this whole episode and set everything on fire. Like, I really don't want that. So let's see something that won't be too crazy. And it needs to be something everyone can eat. Let's try some grilled plantain. Because some people might not eat like meat and stuff. Mushroom steak. Oh, what is this? Wild nut soup. That is wild. <laughs> and the fact that they're going to take out of our money as well. That's ridiculous. Chicken. Okay, let's just do the chicken skewers. Chim chimo chikariki, whatever it's called. Okay, Christy, I see you. I mean, your everything is out, but it's okay. It's literally a pool party. All right, Ade, please don't don't set anything on fire. I beg you, hubby, you're so sexy. Please don't set anything on fire, okay? Uh, look at the beard. Oh, please come back. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Okay, Ade, you're doing good so far. Okay, you're doing good. Please don't burn anything. 
Hey, little girl. Hey, Orion. Christy is looking very good. Why is she cheering? I guess she really likes barbecue, huh? Oh, that's adorable, though. Yay! He didn't burn anything. Uh, well done, Ade. What's the quality? Okay, let's have everyone come and eat. Oh, excellent. Well done, Ade. I don't think there's enough for everyone. So, Ade, can you come and make um some grilled plantain? So, people have variety of what they want to eat. So, we're just going to wait for... Nobody grab a serving, please. Okay, I guess they're coming to grab a serving. All right, well, you take that if that's what you want. Dang. They wasted no time. All right, then. That's great. Everybody come and grab a serving. Before Ade even gets there, I bet it's all gone. Is there only one serving left? There's five left. Um, Emmanuel, do you want to come and grab one at least? Grab a serving. Um, I mean, does everyone have to go inside to eat? I mean, I guess if you want to. Ooh, uh, hello. This is, you know what? I never noticed that her name was Savannah as well. <laughs> This is Savannah Hansen. She is all grown up. She aged up into a teen. So I gave her a makeover. If you remember, Emmanuel was friends with her when they were children. But then Emmanuel aged up. So Emmanuel was just a little bit older than her because he became a teen before her. But I'm going to have Emmanuel scope the surroundings. And, you know, if he gains an attractiveness towards her, then that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. But she is so pretty. Like, she's a whole model. Oh, look at everyone. This is so wholesome. Thank you, Michael Sims, for inviting us. We needed this, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, apart from the fact that freaking, what's his name? Ugh. Christopher, I guess, is that's his name. He's so annoying. Okay, Christy, since you're in front of this girl, oh, I guess you don't want to talk to her. Christy wants to sleep, girl, no. Just compliment her afro. Be like, hey, yeah. How have you been, Savannah? Your hair's so pretty. It's gotten so much longer. She's like, yes, auntie. <laughs> Why is Emmanuel constantly going upstairs? I know he's not an introvert. Like, come and sit downstairs. My dude, what are you doing? All right, we're going to have Emmanuel go downstairs real quick. And, um, okay, I'm going to have him scope the surrounding. Let's see if Emmanuel is interested in anybody around here, okay? Okay, for some reason, Emmanuel can't scope his surroundings. I don't know why. So, yeah, that's a bummer. Um, oh, I really want Emmanuel to scope the surroundings because the next person he's going to date, I want him to choose for himself. So, like, if he scopes and tells me he's interested in someone, then I can help him get them. All right, Christy, stop talking to her. You, you clearly really, really want to sleep. Girl, you can't sleep, though. Like, you're at someone's house. You can't come to a party and sleep. Look at Emmanuel with no bottoms on. <laughs> you better not pee yourself. I don't have time for you to be embarrassed. All right, Christy, how about you come and nap in this lounger instead of going into people's beds? Okay? Yeah, come and nap here, baby. You'll be good. Let me turn this on. All right, let's come and play in this together. No, I need Emmanuel, not Christy. I'm just gonna allow Christy sleep. Play in water together. Let's turn up the music. Volume high. There we go, there we go. Okay, let's check on Christy. Okay, she's napping. There you go, mamas. You're good, okay? Don't worry, you're fine. All right, I'm going to have Emmanuel. I'm going to try and see if he can scope the surroundings again. Or maybe that's something teens can't do. I think it's a teen thing. I just saw it. I just saw it. I just saw it. Yes! Okay, scope the surroundings. Check out the girls. See who you like and let me know. Ooh! 
Okay, attractiveness scoping. After Emmanuel finished scoping the room for attractive faces, he noticed one that sparked his interest. Spot pulsating hearts to recognize attraction. <laughs> yes my boy yes you know what you like i love that for you okay we're going in now that emmanuel approves and like he likes her we are going in bro oh okay 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 uh which one let's do compliment first <laughs> the hair looks different in the dark i don't like that but yeah whatever keep talking to her she's so pretty like oh I really did her justice. Make funny faces, flirt with her. Ask if she's single. Yes, flirt is right here. Ask if she's single. Actually, don't be too friendly because you're already friends. You need to just go right in. Let her know your interest. Like, um, I need to pay attention to the parents as well. <gasps> she's feeling it. Oh, she's feeling it. Oh, girl. Okay, exchange numbers. Okay, um, embrace her. It's just a hug. Embracing is fine, okay? What did Ade say? Sorry, Ade, I've literally just been ignoring you. It really means a lot to me that you make time for me. Just wanted to let you know. Okay, what's going on over there, Ade? All right, Ade, I see you. Ade is flirty. For someone that's always jealous, you better not cheat. Okay, let's have um the whole crew come and swim together. <laughs> See what I mean? This is the same thing that happened in the last episode. I literally turned off curfew, but for some reason, the cat is telling me that curfew is about to start. If you don't come home soon, then you get in trouble. Okay, cat, thank you. I guess. Um, Swim. Yeah, swim here together. Let everyone get in the pool. It's getting really late okay oh look at the way they're checking each other out the way emmanuel just glitched over here mm -mm. yay everyone's in the pool everyone's all fed i hope everyone ate i hope they did but if they didn't then they're not hungry i guess because there's food yes everybody's looking good Ooh. Emmanuel slash Savannah. I don't know how I feel about the fact that her name is Savannah as well. Because our ex is literally called Savannah with a H. Like, bruh. Um, let's actually keep flirting with her. Okay, reveal your crush. Be like, you aged up nice. You don't look like a gremlin anymore. Because they're friends, guys. Like, you know, just cute little banter. This is so cute. I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you just get me. Okay, look at Ade getting along with everyone. Nice. Good for you, Ade. I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up and all my friends seem to have it figured out. How do I figure it out myself? Pick something you like or no worries, you've got time. Just pick something you like. Really, that's like what I would have liked for someone to advise me when I was younger. Wow, the water looks pretty deep. Christy flashes back to all the scary experiences of being in the water. She would rather not experience that vast and terrifying expanse again. Really? Christy has another fear? She has so many fears. Okay, get out of the water if you don't want to be there. I don't want you dying, girl. Get out of the water, please. And now she's sad. Christy's just going through it, man. Go here, baby. What's going on now? You were feeling good before. Looming dread from fear of swimming. She has a fear of swimming? Since when? That dreadful feeling looms over Christy as she discovers something new about herself. A fear that wasn't there before. Growing inside, ready to overcome Christy into paralysis at any point. Really? Ma'am. Okay. You have too many fears. Like, it's really starting to annoy me. But like, I'm gonna say maybe because she's become a mother. Like, motherhood really changes you. All right, well, at least she's having a good time apart from being sad. She said that she's going to be a terrible parent. I mean, that's a common fear for parents, to be honest. You know, you don't want to mess up. Like, that's a whole human being. You don't want to mess up their life and whatnot. I hope you feel better, Christy. But I'm going to um, come back to you. Dang, she is looking so good. I just hate that the hair is looking like this in the dark. But it's not a deal breaker. Come and dance with Savannah, Emmanuel. Okay, don't mess this up. See, now he's over his ex. He's over it. So, yeah. Okay, dance with her. 
that's her parents in case you guys forgot this is her parents so this is her dad marco and rashad uh, um savannah's dad i don't even want to flirt with her in front of her parents so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have emmanuel go inside and call her over wait why are they coming downstairs together if ade for someone so jealous i'm really like you're giving me trust issues but i don't think anything went on there i don't think they did anything <laughs> hopefully no let's see Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Someone's giving Emmanuel a suggestive look. So it says Emmanuel has noticed that Savannah's eyes are lingering on them more and more. There's an intensity to their stare. And with their attention fixed squarely upon them, this may be the chance to move things into a more intimate direction. Is Emmanuel going to accept Savannah's advance? Are you dumb? Of course we're going to accept it. Ooh. So Emmanuel has accepted Savannah's advances. She looks excited, anticipating the opportunity of experiencing a passionate moment with Emmanuel. He can do whatever he wants with her for the next few hours. Whatever he wants. Don't say that to Emmanuel. Emmanuel's a dog. <laughs> yo this is crazy like i like the fact that she's feeling him equally so that's great like they look so good together i'm gonna have them take a real quick picture together and then i'm gonna have them go inside like imana's gonna invite her inside because her dads are here like i'm sure they'll be very protective of their little princess if i do say so myself so take photo with savannah i don't think i care that her name is savannah to be honest it doesn't matter Oh, it's 125. Okay. Sheesh, he is literally skipping through the pool. Like, he is an expert. Um, Look at them, like, staring at each other. Okay, Emmanuel, take this picture. I know you're tired. I know. I'll help you a little bit. I won't have you embarrass yourself in front of her. Don't worry. Take a picture. Hopefully it comes out right with her big hair and the lighting. I don't know what it's going to look like. <gasps> this is so cute. OMG. Oh, this is so adorable. Oh, no, I didn't mean to change that. Dang it. I wanted to brighten it up. I wasn't trying to like, I'm going to hopefully. Okay, this is cute too. Ooh. Okay, I'm happy her hair is not like all in the way because I thought that might happen, but it's not happening. No, wait, why do they look perfect together? Eee! Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> Hold the freak up. This is adorable. What are you talking about? No, this is so, so cute. Okay, her hair is in the way there. Oh okay this is cute too i like this okay that's it all right cool and now we're gonna have emmanuel look at emmanuel flexing boy <laughs> sit down somewhere let's have emmanuel go upstairs and call over savannah <gasps> wait a minute wait okay let's have emmanuel call over atlas and savannah maybe all the friends actually no, it's going to take too long to get all of them high. Let's have Emmanuel come upstairs and Atlas, because we need Atlas to share some of this with us. Can we open this or does it not allow us? It does allow us. Ooh. Okay, let's go and open that real quick. Emmanuel, stop flexing. Not this little girl being awake, boy. Okay, let me cheat Christy's energy a little bit because she's way too tired. I did as well, just a little bit. Like, I know I could make them coffee, but the way the time is speeding, I don't even have time for that. Oh, the mixologist is here. Okay, um, it seems like you're hungry, Emmanuel. So, why don't you come and... Not Emmanuel, Ade. Ade is hungry. Raw, they ate everything. Wow, I think it's time to come and make some more food, Ade. <laughs> I did not know they were going to eat everything. Let's grow some fish. Why not? Let's grow some fish. Christy is just uncomfortable. I don't know how to help her. She's just constantly uncomfortable. And I get it. Like, you're pregnant with your fourth child. I completely get it. Oh, okay. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, chill, 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 chill. Has he opened it? I guess that's in his inventory now, even though it's not ours. I'm sure Atlas is cool with this. Let's come and have one with Atlas real quick. I kind of wanted to share with Atlas, but I don't think I can because it doesn't say share. And I wanted to share with Savannah as well. Emmanuel's just out here being a bad influence. Not on Atlas, on Savannah. But then again, like, she could always say no, so it's not a big deal. <gasps> Emmanuel! Where's Atlas? We need Atlas to come over here. Because basically, Atlas said we could do this. You know, we're not just going through his stuff. OMG, Emmanuel. 
I am so shocked at you. Not really. <laughs> like he's a whole teenager. He's gonna be like experimenting. Oh, my boy is so high as a kite. Yikes. Okay. Can you be done with this though and share with um Atlas? Put it down. Where did he put it? Oh gosh. He put it in his inventory. <laughs> I guess it belongs to us now. All right, let me place it here. Oh, now we can share. Okay, great. Share with um, Atlas. I really love hanging out with you. I couldn't think of anyone better to toke up with. Cool. I love hanging out with you too. I like that little addition to um, base mental drugs now. All right, let's see Atlas get a little high as well. Ooh, Atlas, look at you. Ooh, you boys are bad. Let me get a quick little picture. Your parents better not smell this on you because, baby, you guys will be grounded forever. Like, oh, I wanted to, no, I wanted to take a picture. Dang it. I played it instead of a picture. That's fine. Atlas, you are such a bad boy. Like, he literally has two bags of sweet in his room. You're crazy boy. All right, well, um, I hope you feel good now. <laughs> Can we share with anyone else? No, it's gone into his inventory now. Oh no, it hasn't. Can we share? Dang it, we can't. Unless we smoke some more, we can't share with Savannah. Maybe that's a good thing. Okay, we need to stop trying to influence somebody's daughter. <gasps> he's hungry again. I mean, he just smoked, so he's probably got like the munchies or whatever. Okay, 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 okay. Savannah's right here. Talk to her. You know what? Let's just go upstairs with Savannah. Are you for real? Wasted? I am so mad at you right now. <gasps> no! Ade knows that he's high. No! <laughs> Dad, mind your business. I'm an adult. <laughs> so, Emmanuel's asked at last. Oh, he got a minus with his dad. Dang it. We were just getting better with our relationship as well. Ah, whatever. So we've asked um, at last if it's good to borrow his room real quick. And he said, of course. So we're going to go upstairs and then call Savannah to join us. I mean, the notification, you guys saw it. It said you can do whatever you want for the next few hours. So baby, we're going to take advantage. I call her over and then maybe we'll lock the door. I don't know. Because we don't need anybody coming into the room. Where is she? Hurry up. Uh, why is her dad following her? <laughs> For a second, I saw one of her dads following her. All right, lock the door for everyone, to be honest, right now. You know, because we're borrowing this room. I really wish I could share with her, but we can't. We can, we can, we can. Okay, let's share with her. I'm so sorry to her dad. You make my day so much better. This show beats taken up by myself. Okay, you guys read what she said. Like, she smokes. So, yeah, this is not her first time. We're not influencing her <laughs> oh my gosh look at me trying to talk my way out of it oh she looks so cute there we go i'm gonna just keep taking pictures damn girl don't choke like she's freaking deep fur in the thing <laughs> she's gorgeous okay that's that's enough and now let's talk to her what are you saying are you single well i think it's a friendly interaction now is it here yeah ask if single is friendly now so let's do that dang they are both high that is crazy are you single girl okay talk to me like <gasps> she's single oh, look at her shopping him omg oh they're so cute adorable 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 i cannot handle this okay 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 make your move she is really feeling you i don't want to waste time oh my god there's no way we're out with our parents till like six in the morning christopher just became good friends with ade okay enjoy your friendship because when christy tells her man what you did trust me that friendship will disappear so quickly let's secure this girl real quick before we go home um so she says she's single we're just gonna have emmanuel like whisper to her and just be like okay so like you know what do you think about why is it awkward now what's going on stop chatting she's so playful and silly so like whisper to her just be like so what do you think about you know kind of taking it further with me like more than friends what are you saying <laughs> ah, 
yeah she likes it oh look at her she is feeling him so bad let's reveal our crush to her if we can just get a cheeky little kiss you know a quick one a quick little kiss nothing much um yeah that would be in physical intimacy right not make a move are they not friendly enough to do that or romantic enough to do that okay okay finally let's have our first kiss real quick girl i have to go home soon okay let's do this real quick oh look at orion having a nightmare <gasps> it's happening it's happening Ooh, it's happening okay you kiss that forehead baby boy oh emmanuel look at you moving on with another savannah that's kind of crazy <laughs> Oh. okay now that we've done that let's unlock the room because it looks a bit crazy that we've locked this girl with us let's unlock the door i don't know what mess around means i hope it doesn't mean woohoo i'm never gonna do that because like we're not trying to rush this one we really want to treat her good i mean we did treat savannah good as well but she just didn't deserve it she was the wrong person we're not gonna oh, look at them trying to woohoo that's crazy i'm so, see this is why i paused i'm so glad i paused should we give her something let's give her a romantic gifts um is there anything we can give her in our inventory i mean we can give her this thing it's worth 125 simoleons <laughs> bro not a picture of him and his ex <laughs> that's crazy okay we're gonna give her this stone because you know like they just get each other so he but knows that she would like whoa 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 no 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 guys no 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 guys let's not do that let's not do that let's not do that let's not do that let's not guys please i'm begging you please stop oh my gosh are you gonna stop or not okay they stopped oh my gosh i thought they were gonna ah <laughs> Why is this boy naked Flag behind us? Oh, this is adorable. Okay, okay, it's time to go home. It doesn't make sense that we're out till 6.20 in the morning on a school day with our parents. But yeah, I think it's time to go home. All right, now that we're back home, I still can't believe that Ade caught Emmanuel smoking. Or not even smoking, hi. He just knew, like, he smelt it, he saw it. And I don't think, like, obviously, Ade would have done that when he was younger as well. But I think he's just like, this is my teenage son. You're not even respectful of the fact that we went out together kind of thing. I think it's just like, rah. So even though we're out together, you still don't care, you know? And I feel like Ade just wasn't fooled. He knows, like, he had a feeling that Emmanuel wasn't changing because man to man Ade just knows that he's doing what he has to do to get on their good side so i think he was just a bit disappointed um it says that we have bills <laughs> Ade, since you're outside why don't you pay that real quick i'm gonna go into build mode because i wanted to give emmanuel the tv that Ade promised him he's been good recently so this is before he got high there's literally no space i could put it here but then i have to move the mirror so yeah that's um that's emmanuel's room done Emmanuel, you go to bed, right? Or do you want to take a shower? I mean, you go do what you want to do, to be honest. And I'm going to have Ade. But Christy, I need to take care of her. How did Christy not have fun that whole time? Like, you were literally at a pool party. How did you not have fun? I mean, I don't know if Christy likes video games, but let's have her come and play games because she did not have fun at all. Now, don't observe the sky because you're pregnant and I cannot have them kidnapping you pristine reputation emmanuel is a shining beacon of positivity for the community really passing by other sims will elicit friendly waves and cheerful smiles as everyone's day is brightened by his presence raw friends will be more forgiving if he commits any social miscues and they won't be quick to judge him finally emmanuel has earned the credibility to host his very own charity benefit parties gather other do-gooders together for a fun time while contributing towards excellent causes children don't receive the full range of benefits based on their reputation until they become teenagers oh wow wow okay i wonder how that happened but i think that was building from when he was a child so that makes sense don't sleep there you have a perfectly good bed upstairs like why why do sims do that go to your room my goodness they're literally useless if you don't tell them what to do i don't know if the babysitter is still here she said something a second ago what did she say hello how are you doing today it's del delightful to see you okay well maybe she'll keep taking care of the kids i don't know where are the kids anyway well we're gonna have the parents sleep if they want to because these kids listen 
you have to get sleep whenever you can and the nanny is still here so it's okay we'll have them sleep and we'll have christy come and play some games i'm gonna have emmanuel take a vacation day off because that's not fair <laughs> his parents kept him out till late so he deserves to not go to school today because his belly slept before you go to bed honey take that vacation day okay Emmanuel had a good time. I don't know about his parents, but he had a good time. Oh, my baby is having another milestone. Princess managed to stick her toe in her mouth. What a cute display of flexibility. Oh, baby. Now she's angry. I don't know how to help Christy. I really don't. Feeling angry. This is all their fault. They made me this way. <laughs> I don't know if she's pregnant with Satan, but this baby is doing something to her. But yeah, guys, let me know how you feel about this episode. Let me know how you feel about Emmanuel's new um, love interest slash, I don't know, new bae. Her name is also Savannah. That was not planned, I promise you. Should we change her name or should we just allow the game do what it wants to do and keep the name the same? Emmanuel's ex, the other Savannah with the H, probably, she's going to probably think Emmanuel's obsessed with her and like trying to replace her. Well, I don't know. She's going to be so delusional about it. Thank you so much for watching once again. I do really appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you know when I post a video. Until next time, bye guys. Bye. 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 Bye.